Hi and welcome to White's Park. This is a county park in Wallaceville, Texas. Free dispersed camping. You do need to call and then email a copy of your driver's license and they will give you a permit. The gal didn't get back to us till the next morning so she just said if you need another permit let me know. She would send it over by email. We stayed here for one night. We are about halfway between Beaumont and Houston, just south of Interstate 10. You can hear some highway noise, and the camping rules here are get the permit, you must be self-contained, and you're supposed to park on gravel, but we can't find any gravel here. I'll walk you around a little bit. This will be just a short video, and you can see tire tracks in amongst the trees and heading over towards scattered picnic tables, which is what we did. Sadly, there is a bit of trash on the ground. I spent a few minutes picking up trash yesterday, and I'm gonna grab a bag and a, and a glove and do that again today. I do not think it's campers that leave the garbage. It's probably day use people. It seems like a lot of beer bottles and stuff kind of around the edges. There's a bayou right over there, and so the trash looks like it's been kind of dumped there. But hey, it's free, we like it, and we'll do our part to clean it up a little bit. Hi, I'm Heather, this is Jim, and this is Sierra, our rescue pup. She is a handful. We've lived what would be considered an alternative lifestyle for 30 years on sailboats. We slowly moved up, cruised the west coast of Mexico twice, and now, for the first time in many years, are boatless. The three of us are full-time in our grand design Imagine XLS 17 MKE, which are a lot of words and letters for a less than 22-foot trailer. We are Travel Small, Live Big. Join us as we share our new RV, our campground information videos, and our exploring of the United States. If this is your first or even tenth time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing for more videos in this series. Here's our spot for the night. The park does have a three-day stay limit, and they do have, I believe, three other parks south of here. One is right on the bay. I don't know how to say the name of the lake, Anahawk Lake. And it is about seven miles south of Interstate 10. So since we're trying to make some miles, we decided this one was per fit the bill perfectly because it's only very, very, very close to the highway. In fact, if you walk up towards the north end of the park, you can see the highway and hear the noise quite a bit more. There is an RV park just to the northwest of us and they're literally right on the freeway. Aww, black dog on the bow. This picnic table's seen better days, and again, sadly, people have left trash here, and I just, I don't get that. And I don't think you're supposed to do that here either. There's one other RV here. Just a couple trash cans. There's one over by them. Big loop road that goes around. And off in the distance, I think it's uh, horse corrals, an equestrian center. There's a launch ramp here. And a few scattered picnic tables. Always good to scout ahead of time before you drive out across here so you don't get stuck.
there are houses right over there and it's a bit noisy here I can hear either some road construction or tractors and again Interstate 10 This is a happening place down here this morning. There are three or four places to launch boats and a lot of guys going out fishing. All right, let's walk back to the trailer. This turned out to be a lot longer video than I thought it was gonna be. And if I were to start my channel now, I think I'd name it Just Imagine. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and leave us a comment so that we know that you were here. And stick around for more Texas. We're heading west. And as always, thanks for watching.